At the moment, this is the problem. Whether it's commentators, whether it's politicians, whether it's campaigners, whether it's leavers, whether it's remainers, nobody knows what's going to happen. And that's really quite a scary position for most British people. There is still a possibility that Britain could leave by the end of October, but the way in which it leaves is becoming ever more unpredictable. And with John Burko, the Speaker of the House of Commons, denying that possibility to have a yes-no vote on the deal that Mr Johnson managed miraculously to bring back from Brussels because it was debated on Saturday, and tradition says that you can't debate the same thing twice in one parliamentary term. Because of all of this, Boris Johnson is now pulling out all the stops to try to get a vote effectively uh, through passing new laws. If he can put the entire withdrawal agreement into new laws and get it through Parliament in just three days, much faster than is normally the process, then he may yet still manage to get Britain out by the end of October. So today was the second time in three days in which Prime Minister Boris Johnson's plans were disrupted and changed. So when will we finally get a real feel of the public support, Jonathan, or Parliament's support of Johnson's Brexit plan? What's the prediction? Is it tomorrow? Well, what was so frustrating for Boris Johnson about this decision of the Speaker was there were rumours that he could have managed finally to get this deal through with the majority in Parliament. Certainly not a given, but he might just have managed it. But he's not being given that opportunity. And instead, the process he's having to go through means that there will be more wrangling within Parliament. Because of the system he's having to use now of actually trying to put it into law, there will be amendments, there will be suggestions perhaps from opposition MPs of introducing a customs union union into the withdrawal that Britain decides to take from the EU. And all of this will delay it and dilute it further. And there's still no real sign that there would be a majority even for those sorts of amendments either. So really, this could drag on and on. Wow. Jonathan Cetradoni, live in London. Thank you for breaking it down for us.